Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, do me a favor. Let us take a trip, a trip, yes, let's take a trip down, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The IRS lane. We're going to come here because we're going to apply for an EIN number. Who we're going to apply for an EIN number for you, per se? We're going to apply for our decedent estate. Remember, the estate of a decedent means that it is dead. Well, a legal fiction, a fict fict fictional person, a fictio, a juristic person, a straw person, are all fictions. They're dead. They are not alive. So we're gonna we're gonna apply that definition right now. We're gonna apply that definition online right now. So we're gonna apply that definition right now. Then we're gonna hit begin. I know I, I got your warning. Come on now. Hurry up. Oh, I think it might be closed. Cause a holiday. But look, we right here. Now there are two things y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna recognize estate. Oh, you can't click on estate because it's gonna give you the definition of what an estate is. See, estate or decedent estate. Okay, estate or decedent estate is a legal entity created as a result of a person's death. It's a decedent estate. It's dead and when it was created, it was dead. It was in a dead state. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, when you do that, you have several things you can choose from. Trust me. Trust you? Trust me. And then we're going to click continue. Continue? Then we're going to click continue. Continue? Then you're going to put your information in. And you're going to click continue. Now, watch this. I can't show y'all because y'all don't deserve it. So hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, once you put your information in, it's going to ask you to confirm who the grantor is. You're going to select it. And then you're going to get to this page eventually. What is the mailing address? So we're going to put in the mailing address. Give me one second. After you put in the address, it's going to take you to this page. It's going to ask about the founding of the trust. I'm doing this for the birth certificate, the name as it appears on the certificate of live birth. Hold on. There you go. Now it asks, do I want to receive a letter online? I want a letter online. And then after we do that, stop listening. Stop listening. Okay, sorry about that. That came back on. I want to receive it online. Then it's going to ask me if I if everything's correct. One and that's how you create the decedent estate trust. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, just so that you know, we haven't done anything new, but most of you are not aware that we're getting ready to 
go to straight crypto. Fidelity just put 4.5 trillion for their spot in ETF with the FCC, the SEC. That's why the SEC is doing all this because of how much money is involved and the big banks are involved. Pay attention. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do the deceit in the state. Now, what's the next thing y'all need to do? Well, let's let's go here. No, we're not going there just yet. We're going to go. We need another one. I need to open this one up anyway. Give me a second. I got something I want to show y'all. Not here. I got. It's a lot easier to show y'all from here. And it's not the incarceration of contracts. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to my download folder. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit because that's what I that's what I do. And as I scroll down, we want death certificates. So what I'm going to do, it's not open, so I have to go to Word. And there is a website. I want you all to pay attention. It's called TemplateLab.com. 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 It's a free site. It's ran by a lawyer. He has a bunch of forms up there. I was forming it up because I can use these forms to create other templates. Lab.com. Ladies and gentlemen, with template lab.com, there are some benefits. What type of benefits? I need the death certificate, so let me scroll down to it. Come on. Death certificate template. See, death certificate template. Death certificate. Death certificate. Death certificate. Death certificate template. I'm going to open this one up. I don't want to open the PDF because it'll take too long. And I ain't got that type of time. I got to go and get some water. Some water for the outside stuff, you know, for the ground and all of that stuff. I got to go get some water because I drive that in. Ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman just gave me, um, no, I hate it when it does this. Give me a second. I got to open up the PDF. Dag Nabbit, give me a second. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, on that particular website, templatelab.com you'll find documents like this. But on a side note, when you're going to the IRS website and you're creating the infant estate, decedent estate, you are to understand you cannot do it for your birth date as the year that it was created. You cannot do it for your birth date for the year that it was created. You can only go back a year so it has to be 2022 as this is 2023 so you'll do it for 2022 that's the only thing y'all need to know some of the birth certificates or death certificates are detailed like this now here's the thing patrick divine was telling people this years ago and i was telling people this but i did not listen to patrick divine i guarantee you patrick didn't listen to me we wouldn't have gotten along. If Patrick and I were in the same room, he and I would not have gotten along. You can't have two egos. There can only be one eon. That's why there's only one Patrick. So you can't have the two in the same room. It, it wouldn't have worked. But if you notice, the information has to be factual because we're saying the same thing. So that's why his documents and information is on our website. Now, I'm only showing you this because I'm showing you the simple and easiest way that this stuff is available for you to do. A death certificate does not have to be done by any licensed professional. Only a live person can declare someone else to be not live or unlive, the unliving. Okay? So, complete the death certificate. Get it notarized. That's right. You heard what I said. Complete the death certificate. Get it notarized. It's a decedent. It's an entity. It's a legal fiction. It's a corporation. Okay? It's a fiction. 
It's a corporation. Create your death certificate. What for your legal fiction? Create the trust document. Put all your property in the trust document. Give yourself grantor beneficiary rights. And pay attention. You're going to have to find an entity that you can control. That's the trustee. When I say control, pay attention. You can select another trust that is your trust to be the trustee. Where you are the trustee of the trust. So you're not the trustee of this trust. You're the trustee of that trust. Two separate trusts, two distinct entities in law. Shh, don't tell nobody what I just told y'all. That's a secret. All right. This is the beginning. This is not all the information. This is to get some of you started. Give you too much information. Some of y'all will be jumping off of bridges thinking that that's the way to Georgia. Okay. Got to go, though. I, I really do have to go, but hopefully this information will benefit you. Have a good day.